Congratulations! Today you'll be the part of our engineering experiment and even we don't know the outcome of it uh, because we're gonna try the new engineering solution in our key project. Uh, the point is that the most drift built are just will throw in something that is familiar till it works and when it will be broken we'll just fix it. And nobody is trying to make it better and almost nobody is trying to work with the steering system because it's too much engineering and too much hard technical stuff. But we are because we don't want this car to be just working. We wanted the perfect setup for this car. That's why we are trying the electrical steering rack. It is plus 50 outside and it is off season and nobody is driving, but we are because we want to find out if the electrical wall really better and outperform the hydraulic one. And if yes, we'll fix the issue of the Nissan Z and its handling and steering. So let's start this experiment, subscribe to us and let's go. Fresh X. The quick theory break before we'll start. Uh, actually, at Drift, we have the two main versions of the steering rack, the hydraulic one and the electrical one. At the, um, this baby one, at the golden, we have the hydraulic with the mechanical pump, and at the pro one, uh, we have the uh, electrical pump of uh, this steering rack. It contains from the pump, uh, reservoir from the liquid, liquid itself, hoses, and it's pretty much heavier construction. And there is one more uh, drawback, because you can't uh, tune this version from the level of the light handling to the heavier one. So it's only that uh, that you have, so it's hard to tune. Uh, and one more, uh, the fluid uh, works uh, in a different way when it's the high temperature, for instance, so it depends on the uh, temperature of it. Instead, uh, the electrical one works this way, so it's only the controller and the uh, electrical connection. And that's pretty much it. Uh, in our version, we have the violet controller that you can switch uh, inside the car from the level one, it's the lightest one uh, of the handling, and the nine level, it's the uh, heavier, uh, more straight and strict. So why we decided to do this experiment? Uh, first of all, to make the handling uh, more convenient and to have an opportunity to switch between one level to another. But there is the myth, if when you're using the electrical inversion, uh, it's uh, less uh, feedback of the uh, surface and you can't handle that way, that it will be the hydraulic one. But if it's the myth and if it's not true, will uh, just uh, solve the issue of the owners of the Nissan Z because it will be more convenient and we'll implement it in the Pro version 2. So let's uh, start this test and uh, we'll be the myth busters of this way. Overall, I kind of liked it. The only issue is the steering wheel is a bit too far for me here. It's just not comfortable to reach it. I'm moving around in the seat a bit. Today is our test day. We brought out both of our baby Zs. These cars, in my opinion, are almost perfect. They only had one issue. In tight turns, the steering would bind a little, and Tolia thought the wheel didn't self-center fast enough. Personally, I had no complaints about the stock hydraulic rack, but we'll see if there's any difference now. It's interesting for me because my Supra back in Russia has an amazing power steering setup with adjustable stiffness, best I've ever driven. I want to compare how this electric rack feels. So right now, we start testing this experimental electric rack. Hey, so what's the deal? The wheel feels heavier than before, right? There's a knob there. When you adjust it, the steering stiffness changes about 10 seconds later because the electric motor needs to spin up. All right, let's set it like this.
This rack can't handle it. It binds in every mode. When you throw it all the way, you just can't pull it back. Light mode, fast mode, it doesn't matter. This rack is garbage. It locks in every mode, light or heavy. This car had just one problem, slight bind on that one corner. That's the one you need to test. On the stock rack, you can still control it. Here, light or heavy, the wheel still stays there. You can't pull it back. That's not the rack, it's the steering geometry. Let's drive this car, and I'll say whether it's the rack or not. Did you try the lightest setting? Yeah, first I tried the heaviest. Locked up, couldn't finish the corner. Then I switched to the lightest, still locked. And did the wheel feel empty? Not empty, just light. And the bind was the same? Steering works fine, I like the feel, exactly the same in every mode. The effort changes, but it takes me so long to pull it back that light or heavy makes no difference. You can't drive that aggressively anymore. The steering itself is nice, adjustable, smooth, but in extreme situations, it won't let you push the car to the limit. And that's what I used to win races with, you know. I remember when Tolia had no space and I'd take a huge angle. If there's no space, you have to slow down with angle. Now you can't do that anymore. It's not the same car now. zero complaints about the stock rack, none at all, I love it. I throw the car into angle and get proper, predictable response. Works perfectly. No bind anywhere, even when I went hard into the corner, and I can feel exactly where the wheels are. I can add steering mid-drift if I want, add more angle here or there. With the electric rack, you just throw it in, and that's it. No more angle, can't pull it back. So we ran both the stock rack and the electric one. Cool thing is, it has 10 modes that change steering effort. But there's one thing I don't like. In big angle situations, we get bind. In light, medium, and heavy settings. Now we'll see how to fix that. We changed the tie rod geometry a bit, so let's test again. For now, my vote for the Baby Z is the stock rack. It's a low-power car with low front-end load, so the stock rack works perfectly in all conditions. But we're not just tuning the Baby Z. Whatever works here, we'll use on the Pro Z. So obviously, we still need to fine-tune the electric rack, find the right parameters, so this car drives no worse with it than with the stock rack. Then we'll move that solution to the Pro Z. That's the plan. The key thing is the wheel doesn't jam when you throw it side to side quickly. And I feel like this rack makes all suspension flaws more noticeable. Any issues in the setup, you feel them more here. I've already put an electric rack on my Silvia, though a different one, from BMW. But it feels somewhat similar. I adjusted the car for it, and I liked it so much that now I wouldn't drive the Silvia with anything else. Same for any drift car. I won't use anything but an electric rack. They give better feedback, don't overheat, weigh about 10 kilos less because you don't need external pumps and you don't boil or foam any fluid. This is the future.
streetcars, Lamborghini, Porsche, have used electric racks for a while. Either we go 20 years back or we use modern tech and learn to make it work. That's how I see it. Thirty-five minutes left, Tolia. Be ready. We just need to bolt the wheel back on. Do we still need to work on this rack? You wanted to space it out, but we haven't done anything. You didn't do anything? We only put in steering stops. We can try spacing it out a little. I'd like to test it now while we're here. The thing is, it works like the stock rack, and that's fine because the car is low power. The real question is how it'll behave when you put a thousand horsepower in the back and what front end grip will you need? Right now you don't have much grip front or rear, so the stock rack copes fine and speeds are low, you know? But when everything is three times faster and grip is several times higher, then the rack will be tested. If we can make the electric rack feel the same as the stock one, then we're moving in the right direction because it will handle a thousand horsepower car just as smoothly as stock. After the first test of this uh, electrical uh, steering rack, we understood that there is the controversial points of view of uh, both our drivers. Because Anatoly said it's 100% good solution and it's always worth to be reinforced. But Dan said it's the worst part ever and uh, there is the room for reinforcement and before it was better. So uh, not the only one points of view. But we need to have this uh, not only just working, but the perfect solution that will be suited for both types of drivers. So now we'll make some reinforcement and see if we'll succeed with it. It feels like stock drives exactly the same. Zero is the lightest setting. Big jump from zero to one, and then it increases gradually. At one, it works fine. Everything else feels off. Only one works. You drove it just now, right? Yeah. How is it now? Only one works well. Everything else is bad. Is it one now? Zero is light, above one gets heavy. It's on one now. All right, I'll try it now. It's perfect now. It's been a great day. Our mechanics did an amazing job. After the first runs, we made a lot of conclusions. And I have this feeling today, like when you're working on something very relevant, very important, something that can change a lot. That's how it feels in this car right now. Now, about our electric rack, let's reveal the cards. This is an electric steering rack from the Nissan 400Z, but we modified it so it could work in racing conditions. We made our own changes to it. At the start of the day, I wasn't very happy with it. Then we worked on it more. And now we've reached the feel of a completely stock rack, the same great feel as the stock one we raced last season and won with. Why is that cool? Because if a very complex component can give you the same feeling as a perfectly working stock one, but with the potential to handle completely different loads, it means we have a solution we can now start testing in the Pro cars. And I'm sure that if you put any stock hydraulic rack in a Pro car, it's going to be a big problem. I believe this electric rack is a major upgrade for the future, and we're going to keep using it in our builds. That was a fun and productive day. Stay with us, like the video, and subscribe to the channel.